Welcome back. Today we are doing a recording of 4th of December's Godly Blessing. We just had a very beautiful session on overcoming anxiety through self-acceptance. Now, before we go ahead with this Vardhan, I just wanted to touch it a bit. So, there were around 4 to 5 speakers and all of them were fabulous speakers from starting from Reiki experience to an international speaker and then a meditation session and then question answer sessions. I think if you listen to the question answer sessions, a lot of your questions will be answered over there. And then this session is going to be taken ahead in the next upcoming session on the upcoming Sunday. And it's going to be expanded in more details. Do join us in that. And for the link, I'll let you know over here itself. So let's go ahead with the blessing. Supreme Godfather says that knowledge is light. And when we have the light, we cannot be entering into darkness. Now this darkness is the darkness of questions. And those questions arise when we have a lot of confusion within us. And the confusion is generally arising because of certain negative traits. That means not having the knowledge that I have certain negative traits. Like accepting anger as a necessary thing instead of a negative trait. Accepting jealousy as an important aspect to compete with someone to move ahead in life. As compared to having complete contentment instead of jealousy and focusing on our own strengths. So that's why God is saying that either you can choose light or you can choose darkness. But to know what is darkness is also a very important knowledge. So here we're going to talk about moving from light to darkness. Let's see what does God have to say. God says, may you be a knowledgeable soul who uses knowledge in the form of light. Now this is not the knowledge which we learn in schools and colleges. That is all about learning for earning. Here we are talking about how to live a life in a peaceful, powerful manner. And obviously it affects your other areas of your life also, whether it's financial, whether it's mental, whether it's relationship and other things. So God here says, who uses knowledge in the form of light and might at the right time. Gyan means knowledge and knowledge is said to be light and might because knowledge can give you might. Now this might is not the might to earn finances is not the might to be recognized in the society through that worldly knowledge is the might of wisdom then God says where there is light the enlightenment of what is light right and what is wrong enlightenment of what is right and what is wrong so there's a difference between that knowledge which is worldly knowledge which we learn chemistry physics mathematics and other things even in engineering and knowing what is the right to say, what is right to think, and how it is right to act, is wisdom. Or that this is darkness and that is light. Thinking jealousy is darkness. Thinking contentment is light. Thinking, giving others blessing and having good hopes for others is light. And hoping that somebody else doesn't go ahead of you or does better than you is darkness. It brings the darkness within. So this is wasteful and that is powerful. Thinking about the past, what should have happened, why this happened and what they should have done and how they should have reacted is all wasteful. That means we are moving away from the present. We are not living in the present. And being in the present, deciding the solutions and looking forward for a better life ahead with those better choices now, right now is powerful. Then a soul who is full of light and might can never be in any darkness. Of confusion or what should I do and how should I behave how should I react and what should I think and what should I not think all these things go away because those are darknesses if while knowing about darkness that this is darkness jealousy is darkness anger is darkness greed is darkness competing with others trying to pull others be others down is darkness you stay in the darkness if while knowing about darkness you stay in that darkness that is not called being jnani or sensible. So knowing knowledge is one thing, but through experiences learning that this act of mind, this behavior of mind, this thought of mind wasn't accurate is actually meaning that you're becoming jnani. That means you're becoming experienced, knowledgeable, wise soul. A jnani soul can never be influenced by wrong actions, thoughts, nature, or sanskars, either of self or of others. And this improves over a period of time through experiences. So somebody's wrong actions or our own wrong, wrong actions 
and we, if we try to prove that no no this was the right action then we are not organic souls thoughts impure thoughts not knowing that i am having impure thoughts towards somebody or even if having impure thoughts towards somebody we are not able to stop it or put a full stop to it also means that we are not organic souls so this is all that we learn in brahma kumaris in details for every aspect what is darkness and what is light needs to be learned first and do i have darkness and how much darkness do i have and how much of light do i have that is going to decide whether i am going to be successful in my own life and the path which i am taking with this financial relationship mental emotional physical all of it requires wisdom in today's present world and for more details you can join in brahma kumaris and you can take this beautiful light or the knowledge and decide how you want to live your life with this om shanti